Hey guys, this is Garys and welcome back to my game video channel and thank you for joining me in another episode of Survival Overdone. As you can see, today we have a much different loading screen. Finally, I can start Subnautica. I've been pondering to start this for quite some time and recently they announced a new version of a game below zero so i really am looking forward to that game so i really wanted to finish subnautica i do not have a lot of play time i only have like an hour and a few minutes of play time in this this was a couple of months ago before they finished the game the last update was september 2018 and my last play time was quite before that actually but i did access quickly the game just to um check out the sound volumes and so on and even the start looks much different so i hope you guys will join me in this new series where we discover subnautica this is 99 percent a blind playthrough as i told you guys i played about an hour and a half i haven't checked any other uh, let's plays regarding this game i have a basic idea of what's going on some friends told me what's going on and so on but I usually try to cut it out. I don't want to be rude to them and not listen to them. So I just cut out what they're trying to say so that I don't get spoilers for myself. I, have, I am actively participating in the conversation though. But I'm trying to keep it in short-term memory, <laughs> so to say. So let's try this one out, guys. Let's start a new game. Okay. Um, I usually go for survival. I had a comment saying just doing the normal freedom one just without the hunger at first but I don't know Ark and all those things has food and so on so why not do that let's do a survival mode okay I will try cut out the loading screens as I just did but it seems there's something happening now it's a dark screen there you go Okay, you guys that followed me from other games will know that I try not to speak during cinematics and dialogue. Okay. So this, I did um, play with a quick test. And something that bothered me is that you... Okay, it does give you info at least, but you have to right click to shoot and it's not very intuitive if you don't like reading like like me usually it's quite strange pressing right click to shoot a something okay you have suffered minor head trauma this is considered an optimal outcome this PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. I like it that they say it's an optimal outcome. No, 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 no. The optimal outcome would be not to crash land on, a system, on this planet. Okay, something I believe that is new is those flying things. Don't know what that is yet. I saw it with the test as well. And oh, what I want to say that piece of metal that hit you in the face that actually gave me quite a fright when I tested it. So I know we must go out and go check some stuff over here. Is some sort of container, basic container that we have some nutrition blocks flares and water okay we need to 
eventually get to water for that water ingredients unknown okay so how do we learn things we need to learn things personal tools scanner battery repair tool oh we need a repair tool because we need to fix this <coughs> excuse me come on why don't you close we need to fix this use repair tool to damage so personal tools repair tool cave sulfur and titanium and silicon rubber uh, okay let's get out out of this escape pod. Oh! Ugh, got it fried again. Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Yeah, that's not optimal, mate. Okay, so we crash landed in a vast ocean, it seems. Oh wow, the clouds actually look cool. Looks like it's walking, or not, not really walking, but on a water surface. Okay, we don't have anything in our other slots, so what's over there? Let's just jump down, see what happens. Okay, this is strange life forms. Okay, our oxygen seems like it's keeping. It's kind of cool. Break limestone. What's that? What's going on? It seems like that can be dangerous. Oxygen. Seems like it's throwing things around. Let's go break this limestone. Let's not worry what that thing is. Okay, we got something at least. I say that, but yet I go and look back to that. Okay, we need more stuff. Is this also breakable? Yes. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. What the hell is that? What's that? What was that? Okay, it seems like I got hurt. Did they at least give me something? It seems there's something here. Cords. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't go into the caves yet. There's some copper or what's this limestone. Don't know what I got, but I got something. What's this? Uh, something's gonna attack me. What's going to attack me? Something's gonna attack me. I stole an egg. In Ark, if you stole an egg, Something attacks you. Okay. Oh, we can enter from a pot. That's awesome. Okay, what did we get? Creature eggs, switch container, fire extinguisher, titanium, titanium, copper, and quartz. Okay, let's see what we can make. Resources, basic resource. Titanium, we have four. Oh, we can't do anything yet. Oh, we can do something here. Equipment. What can we make? Floating air pump. Floating devices that pumps air into pipes. Acts as starting point for a pipe chain. Oh, we need to make pipes then as well. A chain of pipes can be used to transport breathable air from a functioning pipe. Do we want to make that? I'm not sure. First aid kit. We need these other stuff though. Um, water. We need to get these. Let's see if we can catch some fish. I remember vaguely that you can. How do you exit this? Okay, just click away. Okay, fine. 
I remember rightly that you can catch a fish with your hands. So let's go try that. Nope, couldn't. Let's try these ones. Wow, it's fast. Okay, so how do we catch a fish? Ah! Boomerang. We can throw this. Okay, right click just releases it. Left clicking doesn't do anything. Let's climb up. Let's see. Maybe we should be out of the water. No, left click just releases it. What does this do? Boomerang. Food. Okay, it gives food. Oh, it takes away water. Small edible edible prey fish. Consume. Okay, why don't it actually consume when I press it? Okay, let's just leave it in here. Okay, right click it changes containers. Yay! What's this? Let's switch these things in case we lose anything. What's this? Blueprints. Okay, silicon rubber. We need creep vine seed cluster. Creep vine. So it should be on some sort of plant, I believe. Titanium, titanium. Water. Ingredients unknown. Okay, fine. Okay, exit. Tap. Ah, there. There's uh, something there. But it's close to this thing. What's this thing? Wait, wait, fishy, come here. Come here. New creature discovered. Ha -ha. Okay, I'll keep you away. Ooh! Ooh! You can swim faster! Haha! <laughs> awesome! Okay, there's that thing. Ooh! Oxygen. At least it warns you, that's nice. It's getting dark. Oh no, another game with a day-night cycle. I, d I usually don't like night games. Oh, there's a lot more now. It's just me that can see them better now. Let's see, can I maybe... Grab... In oh, I could grab these. Pick up acid mushroom. I don't believe that would be good for me. I don't know what that sound is, but it's scary. Okay, um... What can we do? Oh, we have a medical kit fabricator open. Pick up first aid. No, I don't want to grab that yet. Damage ratio. We need a repair kit. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm stumbling so much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cured fish. Peeper salt deposit. We need salt deposit. Salt deposit. Okay. Cook peeper protein rich eyeballs. <laughs> Let's make it. Ooh. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Okay, cool. Let's quickly see. Uh, give me inventory. Oh, wow. Okay. Purple fungus, acidic flesh. So we can eat this. Food 31. Oh, it goes down. Okay. So you need to eat it as soon as possible. Let's put away these acidic mushroom thingies. Okay. Now we know at least what to eat and drink. Those big eye things. What's that green ball thing? It looks big, so I'm scared of it. Let's see. Eyeballs. Give me eyeballs. 
What's this? Got one. You look at the moon. And these sounds is not fun, I promise you guys. Okay, boomerangs I can't do anything with yet. I want to catch those big ones. Where's the big guys? Let's go grab some big guys. Where's the big guy? Grab some air. One, two, five, and we can grab. Oh, I missed it. Could we grab this one? Nope, that one is way too fast. See, nothing else we can grab here. No, I don't want to. Is it that green thing that makes that noise? That's a different fish. Wait, did it? I didn't pick it up. Did I? No, I didn't. Oh, goodness. There it is. Okay, you I can't catch at this moment. Where's that funky looking one? There it is. New ah! Discovered. Gotcha. Bladder. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Okay, thank you for your info. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's see what we can do now. Ooh, we can make something here. Tools! Air bladder, emergency flotation device, chemical reaction products. Okay, so we need the bladder fish for that. Food. Ooh, we can have bladder fish. Oh, water! Oh, goodness. We know what to get water from. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What's this one? Oh, it's a bladder fish. Okay, no problem. Put that there. Food and water. Let's cook the eye fish. Cooked fish. What's this? Cooked peeper. Okay, so eyes and peep. Let's cook it. Okay, and we can eat it immediately to get the most out of it. Great stuff. Okay, water isn't perfect, but we're getting there, guys. We, we're we discovering things as we go. Oh, it's light. Great. What's this? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. Oh, I don't want a boomerang. Can't do anything with you yet. Can we pick up... Uh, pick up metal? Awesome. What's this? There's something different. Catch it and I don't want to get too close to that strange thing over there. It looks like crocodile, so I'm kind of scared of it automatically. <laughs> Let's see, we need more bladder fish, more water. That thing scares me, I don't know what that is. Ah, there's a bladder fish. And an eyeball. Eye fish, eyeball fish. Gotcha. Oh, eyeball. Come here, come here. Come here. Ha! Ah, we're doing good, we're doing good. Oh, and metal scraps. Okay, that's great. Oxygen. Okay, let's go cook up some bladder fish for water. And I believe our food and water situation is then sorted. I don't 
don't know how we will store more food and water, but let's grab a water. Thank you, and we need a... I'm not gonna eat the blood of bladder fish, but I'm gonna eat an eyeballs. Okay, let's see. We're gonna eat a... Oh wait, it's 32. Oh, we're gonna lose some. It gives 20 water, so we can eat this. Or drink that, sorry. Oh wow, we actually might need a lot. Okay, let's not eat the fish immediately. Resources, basic materials. We can make that from a salvage. Oh, so we can do that again. Awesome, so we got titanium. What can we do? Waterproof locker, a small storage solution that maintains position in the water. That is cool. Equipment. Standard O2 tank, O2 mix, compressed, breathable air. I wonder if this is reusable. A once off. But we need this one. Repair tool. Only after tiny we need silicon. I believe. Let's make a waterproof deployable. Great. So, I'm going to use it. I wonder if I can pick it up. I hope so. But we need space. Okay, so let's put our fish in here. Let's see. I just want to have my fish in a specific place, then I know I can always mine there. What's over here? Let's put the titanium back here. We have a fish. Let's take the fish. And oh, we have some water here as well. Where's a cooked fish? We put that away. Hope not. Oh, can it? You, so you can pick it up. Okay, great. There's a cooked one. Bring me a cooked one. Okay, so you can pick it up once it's empty. Awesome. Good to know. Okay, I believe we should go grab those things. Okay, let's wait to see if we can get our chance. There's some right there and there. Let's see, maybe a bit further away. We're getting close. And our air is gonna run out if we don't do something quick. Okay, let's see. It really looks like a cro crocodile. Yep. Air. At least air region is quick. That is one. I don't have any knife, right? Uh, let's just go for it, see what happens. Okay, wasn't that bad. I still don't know if they attack you actually. That's still a question in that's lingering in my mind. So let's go see what we found. And I believe we should call it an episode over here guys. Um, after this, let's first see what we got. 
Resources. Come on. Resources. Lubricant and silicone. Okay, we need a silicone. Great. So now we're getting one step closer to. Oh, we're getting fence. Okay, but we need a repair kit. Where's the repair kit? So we have the time, so we need cave sulfur. So guys, join me next time to, in our hunt to get some cave sulfur. We will, I will probably continue right where I left off here, but I have to cut it so that we can have an extra episode and not have majorly long episodes like I usually do in ARC. So let's get a proper intro and outro spot right here, I believe is fine. Looking at our crash ship that we lost and nothing else is out there there's a cloud on the water why is it staying on the same spot always but in any case we will find out in the future sometime guys thank you guys for joining me i hope you enjoyed this episode i know you probably saw a gameplay or a playthrough of this this game already but if you haven't i hope you stick with me guys please leave a like or a dislike if you like and please just tell me why you dislike so that I can work on my content so that I can make it better for everybody in the future guys. And if you haven't done so already, please um, subscribe, check my description for links to my public discord and all my other social media links. I have a website up and running, come check me out there, I usually post most of the upcoming things there and not really keep it up to date but usually within a week i update it so feel free to come check there join me on twitter i usually post there what episode is next etc and with that i will see you in the next one guys cheers